or uh, oh, boring. Yeah. Item they used to use to fight uh, forest to fires, they would go out and drop the boy and hope to stop the fire before it devastated the school, a church, the house, or the ranch. And as we pan the jumbotron on that, Eve Rossi is wearing the wing that says brightly. Now, he is on a sort of a saddle type seat with his feet on the railing. He is somewhat sitting down. or you'll get yourself in some hot water. Eve Rossi's systems are set up in such a way that if he loses the inboard engine on the left wing, the right inboard engine will within one second stop. He will also make some quick body position changes so he doesn't go out of control. Same thing with the outboard engine. God fail safe in the jet engine. And if he has to get out of it for some reason, he's even got a handle for that. He's got a belt around his waist. He, he won't be cluttered with that wing. That's yet another feature that was brought into the line for us today. So the question comes up with spectators, and if he's fly lower. Now you know, folks. Now you know it's safety. 2004 was the first time that Eve Rossi flew as Jetman. As I mentioned, the former Swiss Air about their altitude. The and as they get to at least 6,500 feet. Now here's what? what's going to Can happen. Kelly? The way that Eve Rossi, who you're looking at Kelly? now, will exit the helicopter, he will actually yes, fall Kelly. back. Yay. And then he will start to die. The guy will get his feet between 150 and 190 miles an hour. We asked him about the bearings there. He said, everything is different. The way I feel, the way my uh, central clock process is, the air outside, the air outside, and the air outside. And I never thought about that. 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 And as I mentioned, they're looking for those four green lights, ladies and gentlemen. You can see the angle of the horizon as he makes his way to that diamond street. Because 
He will get between 8 to 10 minutes of fuel endurance. And he said by looking at the clock, it then gives him the opportunity to get to the top. And when he does, the engines come back to idle, and then he flops over, as you said, it's like an egg-shaped loop. That's right. Later on, we're watching the banners and the flags down below the Embraer panels. Banners from our performer VIP area. Thanks to Embraer for getting on board again this year and making life so comfortable for our performers and their guests with shade and food and VIP comfort. Embraer, thank you so much for that. By the way, we've got some replica wings, if you will, inflatable wings that are available at all the EAA merchandise. Uh, shops that say Brightwing that are shaped like uh, the E. Brophy's wing, but they are not suitable for flight. And uh, by the way, uh, a number of children uh, walking around pretending to fly on the ground today, so they get it. The kids get it. It's a great gift for the kids. It is a mini wing, just like he had. Fifteen dollars a piece, or two for twenty. Now, All right, there's the roll. The other, okay, watch the jumbotron and the. Uh, what we're getting here today, that wing mount is camera, and uh, the, uh, the sound link we're getting with eight, uh, and no better place and no more important place to do it than Oshkosh. And take some pictures so they'll have for their, their own, uh, for their own photo albums. Exactly. Now, again, going back to the banners, as we're nearing the portion where he's going to transition from flight to parachute, there is two methods of touching down. Feels a little bit of gut in there. He's got good wind on the ground. With no wind, he will execute what he calls a deliberate six-point landing. Now, he said as he travels around the world, people say, I saw you touch down with a parachute and you fell, didn't you? He said, no, I didn't fall. Without wind on the ground, to go into, as I touch down, I have a six-point landing. I go feet first. Out goes the chute, he tumbles back and forth a little bit, it gets to be a wild gyration, and then now you see the Brightling chute as he makes his way into the target area. Now watch for him to be joined, as Rob Reiner said, with his colleague in the sky, the other parachute. Parachute expert will be joining him as well as well. And from this point on, between the Jumbotron and your eyes, Now, there's the helicopter behind it. Now, this is not a formation right here. This is one that is done with the helicopter above so that Bruno Brockman can deploy, can jump out, free fall, deploy his parachute, and then the two of them can then fly in together, kind of in a tandem situation, so Bruno, with his cameras, can uh, take pictures of this first time public appearance of Eve Ross. Okay, the jumper is away. That's Bruno Rockin getting up to that 120 mile per hour uh, terminal velocity from about 6,500 feet. He'll get close, there's your canopy. Now, the canopy that Eve Rossi is using is a 230 square foot spectra parachute, and that's kind of like a tandem jumper would do if we were along with a tandem master with two people under one canopy. And rel relatively heavy payload with two people, of course, requires more inflatable panels, more square feet, more the uh, cushion on the landing. Otherwise, your rate of descent could be uh, high enough to, to hurt the tandem jumper, the, the lowermost jumper, and the, uh, the parachute expert who is tied to them above and behind the person who is riding in the tandem. Now, look at the other canopy, much smaller, spiraling down. Bruno is, uh, has a canopy that's probably only about 125 square feet, about a 40 mile, 35 to 40 mile an hour forward speed. But he can slow down and put himself right in close to the guy. How about that? He put on the brakes right behind. Yep. Now they got a bit of a stack up going. And he's got, he's pulling down on the back of the parachute with both hands to help slow him down a little bit. So uh, these two guys are so comfortable right now. If conversation is probably like this, Rob. How uh, you doing? What do you know? What do you want to, uh, tonight? To go eat someplace? I'd like to go to the outside and sit down. Maybe we go to the place. <laughs> that would work for me. Yeah. Sure, yeah. All right, Oshkosh, they're almost within acoustic range. 
They can hear you. They can see you. This is history being made right here. Thank you. 